Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? So, this is actually a very interesting video. So, this was a $10 uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! deck plus some games. So, this was at a yard sale, and you guys know I love checking out yard sales for just crazy good deals. Now, I don't know what's in these. I guess it's like I bought two Yu-Gi-Oh! decks basically for $10. Now, I'm not even sure what's in here, but uh, there was at least one hollow in here. I actually have not seen what's in here. But I literally cannot go minus. Now, I don't really like resell like video games, but I've seen some of those on YouTube. Um, I got all of these games included i guess the, the mom just probably had a bunch of stuff that their kids maybe went off to college or you know left the house but we got all of these games too for the xbox 360 there was an original xbox game in here as well but uh this is what we got and so literally there's no way we go minus on this and most of the games are in the cases i i, I didn't check to see if they were like scratched up i just wanted to get these Yu-Gi-Oh cards and go so we literally can't really go minus on this but let's check if we went plus and how plus did we go with uh, these Yu-Gi-Oh decks over here. So, like I said, I haven't seen them. Obviously, I can see the first card, which is Hero Ring, but there's like two Yu-Gi-Oh decks in here, and this little like, gosh, there's like a rust in this. So, I hope this has got some, maybe some really old Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Okay, Exchange of Night and Day. So, yeah, it was in this like uh, really weird looking box. It's like kind of beat up, but nonetheless, the box probably not really worth anything. So, let's see if we got anything good. Oh, the heck of Thunder Seahorse. All right, so these are kind of messed up in terms of like the orientation, but that's okay. Uh, let's just see if there's anything that's actually worth anything in here uh, really quick So a bunch of like uh, meh let's, let's just legendary collection Joey's world over here We've Got a really bent up cyber dragon it is from LCGX. Okay, well, there's Pokemon cards in here I don't know Pokemon. So if someone knows Pokemon, uh, let me know are any of these worth anything Some of these are kind of messed up. Karaz, Ganesha, nothing really uh, Speaks to me in terms of like, wow, that card is actually worth a lot of value. This card's decent, right? Didn't it just get uh, changed off the ban list? Maybe like a dollar. Um, so far, nothing too crazy. This is, uh, we got um, Prismara. I mean, maybe like a dollar or two here or there. I'm just going to go put some of the like better cards that I'll look up later. But obviously, if there is something, let me know. So far, that's in one. I don't, I don't know if this is someone's deck though, because let's see. They're all the same sleeves, except for, I guess there's... There were some My Little Ponies in here. Okay, there's a Blue Eyes. Maybe that'll be like the, the special card. I don't know if this was the guy's deck or the kid's deck. Um, I mean, I don't think the parent played Yu-Gi-Oh. I think they just wanted to get rid of like some of their stuff that there was probably just hanging around. Hero Ring. Is this is this even supposed to, to... I mean, obviously, if they're all the same sleeves, I don't know if they just thought that this was a good deck. I don't even count the cards. Archfiend Giant over here. Uh, Rhoda. But these are kind of fun. I love doing these things. If it's like five or ten bucks, I usually don't even care. But sometimes, like, I'll go to yard sales and people will try to sell, like, each card for five dollars that is foil and, like, the, the, the cards are trash. And then at that point, I'm like, yeah, I think I'm good on that. Like, I, I always love bad ideas and just wasting money on uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Uh, Black Sonic. Okay. Um... I don't think that's worth anything. Uh, Blackwing Monsters, the other thing. Uh, Atlantis is kind of cool, but uh, like like I said, we literally can't go minus with those video games. Most of those video games are worth a couple dollars each, I'm guessing at least. Especially since there was like Skyrim in there, or was it, uh, I think it was, it was either Skyrim or it was one of those games. Um, also there's GTA in there. Uh, Monster Reborn, eh, that's like a cool card, but it's still not uh, really worth anything. Extra gate, um, to put it banishes of one monster with that love from the extra deck. Okay, it's not really that great. Okay, so if this is a deck, dude, he has like Yu Gi Oh! and Pokemon cards. Some of these were put upside down, dude. dude this guy, <laughs> if this is a Yu Gi Oh! deck, there's multiple monster reborns in here. All right, so I would say, in terms of this. I think uh, most of these, okay, even with all these, I don't know the Pokemon stuff, okay, like I said, if someone knows Pokemon stuff, let me know. I don't see anything in here worth any value. There was at least some foils, so it, it's probably like, I don't, I don't think this is a, a deck at this point, but you never know, some people are like really bad at Yu-Gi-Oh, and they just kind of put whatever they have together. Um, most of these, I think we actually went minus on the cards. Again, I don't know the Pokemon stuff, but... Maybe like two or three dollars here, but the the rest of the stuff. I mean, if you sold it for pennies, yeah, it could add up. But the real winner, I guess, was in the Xbox games. But anyways, thanks, Trin. Sometimes you don't go plus. I think in this instance, we actually probably went minus on the cards. Like I said, the game's totally different. But let me know if you guys thought I went plus or minus down below. But thanks for watching. If you guys want to see more of these, when I do get the chance to, you know, go to yard sales and check out some uh, Yu-Gi-Oh content, uh, yeah, we'll definitely drop more. But these. I can't really, like, uh, make these videos uh, unless we actually go outside and touch grass. But anyways, take care, guys. Peace out. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.